Hey, Dare to Dreamers, this is Debbie Dashinger, and welcome to those who have some significant and fun goals that they want to achieve in their life, in this day, year, moment. You hear those noises? You could be saying angels are getting their wings. Well, maybe they are, because maybe you're creating your dreams, and that makes the heavens very happy. So I'm Debbie Dashing. I'm the host of the Dare to Dream radio show, and I am going to be speaking to you right now about values, because your values act as your personal compass. A lot of people have issues with indecision, and a lot of people have issues knowing sometimes which road to take, even what goals to create. So let's talk about the concept of this because it's actually very interesting when it comes to goal achievement that knowing what your values are is kind of the everything. And it's okay to know your values. It's okay to understand how do you feel about career? What are your values? For instance, I, when I was quite young, I worked at a gas station, quite young. And I loved it. I loved that it was in something typically that a girl or a girl really at that time would do. And it was fun. But the very first gas station that I worked at, I will say that what I saw go on at times ethically wasn't right. Sometimes what they did to customers, sometimes <clears throat> just things that I saw, transactions that went on, and I really, my values felt very uncomfortable being around. And even as a young girl, I think I was 17, I left that job because it didn't align with my values. I felt if you said X, you did X. If you couldn't do X for a customer, then you were responsible for making that up, for apologizing and making that good. And if you couldn't, it wasn't a right way to run a business. So I left that job. And that's pretty much something I've done a lot of my life. So how do you feel? And here's something interesting. When people talk, don't you know just so many people these days who are really, especially women, but of every sex, that are beautiful, articulate, professional, and yet they don't have the relationship that they dream of. Isn't that interesting? I think if you have a personal compass with your values, you can invite in the person you prefer. You won't be hanging out there saying, well, he doesn't this or he doesn't that, but I could put up with that or this would be okay, but I really wanted that, but you're all over the map and you end up settling for something. And then what happens when we settle, right? It's either you go a certain amount of time and the person turns on you and says, I'm not happy in this relationship and wah, wah, wah. You're in something that you're professing you wanted and how could they break your heart, but truly it wasn't a right relationship for you. Or you end up years and years and years, maybe decades down the road with somebody who is so incorrect for you. Maybe even children get involved. So have values. Let's talk about what are values. Let's break it down. Values are your principles. Values are your standards. Standards of behavior, judgment of what's important in life. And let's talk about some synonyms so it makes it even more clear. And by the way, include your body, your health, your relationships with anybody. Are they toxic? Are they healthy? Are they supportive? How do those show up for you? So some synonyms are worth, usefulness, advantage, benefit, gain, profit, good, help, merit, principles, ethics, moral code, morals, and standards. So you have values. Value, your value, put a price, priceless, on what you value. Now, if you wake up every day and you have a breath, you're blessed. You were given another day. And if you wake up every day, you already have your values. You've written them down. You know what they mean to you. Now, be clear. Your values aren't what your parents' values were. Those were their values based on maybe ancestry, lineage, what was passed down. It may not have even made any sense to them, but someone gave it to someone, gave it to someone, gave it to someone, and by the time they're done, it's just, these are my values. But they didn't really know why. Take the time to understand what are your values? What's going on for you, like in your heart? What does your heart say is right or good for you? What does your soul say is right or good for you? And from there, 
go out into your world and create it. Then you'll know what your goals are. Then you'll know what your dreams are. And then you'll know how to make everything come true in every faction of your life. And if you want more help, Wisdom to Success, international bestseller, got a rave review in USA Today. First book got a rave review in Writer's Digest. You can get these on Amazon and at any bookstore. Great gift for yourself and your loved ones. And go to DebraDashinger.com, D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R, and get your free downloads and listen to all the amazing videos and interviews. They're there for you. Dreams are free, so free your dreams. What do you dare to dream?